morning everyone and happy sunday to you i just want to address my fellow catholic reverend sisters you know there is this video of a particular person evangelist ebu gaobi circulating on the social media where he's doing his program in ningoba la local government in most states and in that video i saw countless number of reverend sisters in the mood you know na potopoto receiving prayers from this evangelist Obuka Obi. You know, shouting Holy Ghost fire, shouting Jesus, Jesus, just like an ordinary person with their habits. Mama say, sister, I want to ask you, do you really know whom you are? Do you recognize your personality? Imakonye wemi hi shiri. Ima that the privilege you as a reverend sister have let me just tell you the day of your final profession the day you were finally profess in front of the congregation in front of your parents in front of your relatives in front of the sisters you invited to come and celebrate with you because you're celebrating your final profession in front of everybody the congregation the bishop they are celebrating together with the priest and the people of God, you lay down on the floor, you will read the whole hierarchies, none at the church. The whole, none at the church. The sound litany of the sense for you. You will be there for complete like 15 minutes, lying down, helplessly, promising God. Or thanking God for calling you. At the end of it, the bishop will handle you the Holy Bible, crucifix, and to grant it all to remind you whom you are on your wall. Since no be that privilege. The person you are running for miracle. And when this privilege you want. Okay, let me come again. In our communities, when we wake up, we start with morning prayers before waiting for mass, depending on how your community feels it. But there is no community that doesn't say their breviaries. Breviary. Liturgy of the hours. In the morning, they were a morning prayer. And in that morning prayer, they were two psalms and one can't go. Psalms of song. And were an invocation that will prepare you for the day. Okay? Okay. And when they need their middays, there's people who say their middays, some don't do to one or two or three things. They don't say it. But during the, 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 between the morning prayer and before the afternoon lunch, there must be a prayer your community will face. Then we move to Vesper, evening prayer. That evening prayer, descending in the morning. In the morning, we have Benedictus with the Psalms and all that. In the evening, the same, there is two psalms and one can't go there is um, first of song again with the intercession the church made it like and there is this brief readings and have intercession our father and magnificent we say our holy rosaries every day after the first part That conclude the first part. Activities continue, recreation, whatever. Then in the evening before we retire to bed, we say what we call Nick Demetrius, good night prayers. In that good night prayers, we crown it with the song, what we call the antiphon of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So check in a day how many psalms you pray. But as six psalms, the church prepare you as a reverend sister to pray for the world, to pray for everybody. And these prayers are not being said like anywhere else, aside whatever, in the chapel, where you have the blessed sacrament with you 24 hours to 24 hours. And so people do make it even they with the adoration of the Holy Eucharist every day. Some people do theirs every day. Some do once in a week. Don't do twice. Depending on how your congregation or community organizes it. 
in the night when you retire to bed, sister, you have time because you have the blessed sacrament in your house. Or when you go for siesta, during these hours, there is nobody in the chapel. You will never find anybody, any sister in the chapel. Like the hour to retire to bed from, let me say, 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You have that time to go to the chapel. You can cry, express yourself the, the, the way you want it because you are with your God. Talk to Him. Pray to Him. And inside the chapel we are praying, there is different, different images of saints and the Blessed Virgin Mary. And also, what do you call it? Sessions of the Cross, where you can do your own. It does express yourself the way you want it. If you have this daily, daily, daily as a reverend sister, you still have the opportunity, you still have that time to be running. Which these things I'm mentioning, Obu Gobi doesn't have it. It's not privileged to have them. Rather, he invite people, he invite priests to come. He paid, he pays them to come and give it to people. And give me wake again. As a consecrated person, you see God, they are standing in the midst of people doing the same thing. A market woman, beggar, as soon as you need her, hit your head on the ground. Give one as a reverend sister, you will hit, you need her, hit your head. Give one back again, baraga. Give one, obi kobi, give baraga. Give one, ibu bomansa, give baraga. Give need the work. Give one, kuni nene. Everywhere you are there, sister, please. Please now, does that mean that now the things in the information in the or what you are in the congregation or in your community, you are not that which you have, you are not recognizing it? Please ask yourself some questions. There is something wrong with you. Please, and I beg on, on our bishops to kindly write to our mother generals. Of every congregation i will not say the local superiors because some of these local superiors they got their superiorship not by merit yes remind our mother generals so that they can address the people hurting really as the superior you can imagine the community where a superior boo issued uh, with the head of Ebu, uh, 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 this Ebu Kobe sort of stuff other members will be seen as the devil in the, com the community. She doesn't want to participate because she's, she's possessed. So please write to our mothers. Remind them once again what the congregation and what their community stand in the church. Please. Thank you and God bless.